and he's pretty much going 10 yards down 10 yards through the route he's going to be going instantly even with like one step ahead you're going to see this type of separation where he's essentially like eight yards away nothing but space behind him super glitchy route <laughs> The fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a full offensive breakdown for you guys today out of what I think is probably my new favorite playbook. I said a little while ago that every month I'm going to try to change playbooks uh, so I can really flush out a new offense pretty much every month. And the Vikings is going to be that offense. I love this offense, starting with this particular scheme. I already put out a couple of pass plays from this uh, formation already. Um, I, I told you guys in that video if you guys wanted to see an entire breakdown of this offense hit the like button or let me know in the comment section and this is that video so if you already saw those pass plays I will time stamp the uh, the video so you guys can skip ahead to the plays that you didn't already see at the bottom of the screen other than that if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button or let me know in the comment section I'll try to do more full length videos like this in the future and other than that let's, go, let's get right into the video and the formation I'm going to focus on today is really going to be geared towards uh, the meta defense I feel like when you run offense you have to have a lot of plays in your offense right now to play online against uh, cover three zone which is really popular and probably the most popular which is either cover one man or cover zero man uh, blitz which is you know people are running the uh, the 20 yard flats uh, out of Mike 335 uh, Mike blitz that's a very popular defense is a very hard defense to stop so you're gonna need some plays like the plays I'm gonna show you guys today out of this formation most specifically the Z option the Z option is probably one of the best plays in the game right now when it comes to beating defenses specifically like that so I'm gonna show you guys a full scheme a couple of really good man beating plays because to me man man zero and man one are probably two of the hardest to beat defenses right now they're probably two of the most popular so i'm gonna show you guys a full scheme on that this particular play is found in four different playbooks i've had a lot of requests for people saying they want seahawks plays it's in the seahawks it's also in the uh the bills and the browns so if you use any of those playbooks you will have this in the single back bunch ace so we're going to pick the z option on the defensive side like i said i mean i don't know if this particular playbook yeah i guess they do have that three three five wide i'm not going to set up like most people do online just like i said for the most part maybe i will i guess i'll probably plug in the second remote just to make this as legit as possible but we're going to try to go specifically at this defense which is something a lot of people are using so like i was saying I mean, what most people are doing right now what i see a lot of different defenses of people doing is they're they're coming out in zone drops curl flats 20 25 we'll just go to 20 um, and you know this is pretty much the look I'm gonna make sure I said that right this is pretty much the look people are just coming out in a lot of three three five uh, you know Mike Blitz zero we'll just go with that but a lot of people are also using cover one that's still very popular as well so they can have that mid-tier safety but we're gonna go with the Mike zero blitz because I think this one's probably the the tougher one to beat so we'll pick that on defense gotta repick our play on offense but like I said you need you know any playbook I'm gonna use I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I have a relative number of uh, you know man beating plays in the the options perfect for that so let's go and let's pick that now before i get into this video as always just want to give a shout out to my coin sponsors moxp.com if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check them out and use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order link in the description below uh, as far as this play goes like i said most people here we'll start off on the defensive side because this should look familiar a lot of people are running uh defenses just like this where they basically put these uh these outside guys on curl flats either 20 or 25 yards a lot of time it's safeties i'm not going to do the full down shifting um you know i'm going to i'm just going to run it like this i don't want to do a lot of people shift over from a certain formation to get this formation so they have safeties rocking these curl flats i'm not going to do that but you guys should know that this type of defense if you're playing online right now you're probably running this defense every other game to say the least um it's one of the most popular defenses in the game right now i don't particularly run it because i like to run my own stuff but ultimately uh you're going to need plays that beat this defense now this x route here is going to do that now if you like a lot of people you know for when it comes to man people just run this is a defense really made up for crossers so if you run a lot of crossing uh type of plays this is supposed to you know this defense is going to shut this down this is your this is your idea on how to beat this where you're essentially just crossing routes then these routes are gonna they're gonna get shut down because these underneath routes are gonna come right into it you can see i mean nothing's really open there for the most part i mean you know that's pretty much the look so based off the fact that crossers don't really work 
you don't really have a ton of options but this play is great because it's really an instant one play touchdown with this little stop and go route that the x route is running it's different than any other stop and go route most stop and go routes aren't guaranteed this particular play is pretty much guaranteed all you have to do is put them on a smart route I put this play out, I want to say at the beginning of the year, but that was so long ago, I'm sure people don't really remember it, and it really comes in handy now. So, based off the fact that, you know, all I got to do is smart route that X route, I'll block my running back, block my tight end, um, you know, things like that, just to make sure that I have a little bit of extra time, because this is a single read play. On the defensive side, we'll go ahead, we'll do the, uh, you know, we'll just do this, um, we'll do this the full way of no, you know, it's whatever. That part doesn't really come into play at all that's kind of the point but we'll put these guys in the curl flats uh, and then this is pretty much it so like i said i'm just going to drop back navigate the pocket a little bit and you can see this is an instant uh release one play touchdown against this type of defense so let's go to the replay to see what happened there i mean this play is so fast your opponent's never going to know what hit him so basically this guy here this is a this this route that he's running here there's another play in the gun bunch called the z spot where he just basically comes and stops you can't find this particular play in any gun bunch as far as i know i wish I could run out of gun bunch but it's only in the gun single back where he basically comes to a stop in the gun bunch version he stops here and waits for the pass but here it's just it's just such a dirty route like it, it beats this cornerback pretty much every time you can see the underneath routes really have no effect on it at all because they're basically zoned just a completely different area and he's pretty much gone 10 yards down 10 yards through the route he's gone i could throw this ball at any point in time uh based off the fact that i shortened it he's going to be going instantly and we have just such an easy explosive one play touchdown against these type of defenses so i'm not going to keep setting up the defense you see how this really doesn't have an effect i'm going to turn this uh, off now because i don't feel like doing this oh it's going to prolong the play but you see what you see the idea so i'll do this offensive play one more time just to show you guys it's no it's no fluke but I'm not going to keep putting these guys in the flats. So like I said, you can see it's just instant and it's so quick. Your opponent's never going to know what hit them. They're just going to be looking up at the scoreboard uh, and they're going to keep an eye on that formation. I got other plays out of this formation, but they're going to be keeping an eye. Every time you come out in this particular formation, they're probably going to start using that X route. But by the time they do, you'll have a couple of touchdowns on top of them. So like I said, this route right here, without a doubt, one of the most important routes in the game right now when you run against defenses like this. Another really good man-beating play uh, is the PA fork shot. This one here, this is the reason I'm doing this video is the PA fork shot. I was going to do uh, this play out of the Ravens because I have a really good passing scheme out of that, but I wanted to show that Z option play because to me that's a really important part of it. But this is another really good man beating play. So I'm going to start off with that same man zero blitz because obviously people like to blitz out of this formation. I'm just going to block my running back and I'm going to show you how this X route here, if you throw this ball on timing, will get open against just about any man coverage in the game. Now you will get some weird animations like right there. You almost came to like a complete stop but it's really all about the timing of this throw i'll go to the replay once again against any man coverage this route right here will get open if you time it properly as you can see right here he's running inside it's all about you know throwing it on the break basically you can see this cornerback is facing the other way he's treating it like a streak if you bullet pass it outside at the break like i am perfectly timed because i've thrown this a million times i'll probably have some gameplay clips in the beginning of the video um, but if you throw it on the break right there he's going to be open every single time you can see it's instant separation against any man coverage like i said this is not the first time i've gone over this particular route i'm pretty sure i've done it in another video like i said that's the only thing i wish i had a faster a little more agile uh receiver it seems like he's kind of coming out of this with a little bit of a hitch in his step uh and then you can see right there even when i don't get the timing out i could still get in the position um um, to, to make a play on that ball but like I said it's really all about I can tell already I'm also not you can see it there, that was like 10 yards separation coming out of that break but I'm also not canceling the play action I keep forgetting to cancel the play action pre-snap let's go to the replay one more time like I said I mean this it's all about this route and it's all about timing if I make that throw correctly I mean this tight man coverage even with like one step ahead you're going to see this type of separation where he's essentially like eight yards away with nothing but you know room to catch nothing but space behind them i mean you're going to get this look all the time super blitzy route now man coverages do react differently um but it won't really matter so we'll pick that exact same play we'll go with man zero i feel like man zero is probably the easiest one to beat so we'll pick i'm sorry not man zero cover one hole we'll pick cover one this time they play a little bit off a little bit softer but it's going to be the exact same result as you can see right here. I mean, it's all about that throw. Like I said, once again, I don't know why 
I'm getting a weird animation where he's almost like kind of, he's just kind of not, he was not feeling really agile. I mean, this will be a lot easier if you got a good mutt team. That's for darn sure. So you can see right there, that throw was a little bit late. And I could go to the replay to show uh, how I messed that up because I didn't quite get the catch and run. Like I said, timing is key. You throw this ball too early or too late and this play will not uh, work out as well. Like I said, he's facing the other way. I should be throwing it already. If I go back, I'm, I, I guess I'm winding up, but I feel like I threw a little bit late. Maybe he just came out of the break bed. It's really important when you throw this ball. That's all I can really say. That's the bottom line. You really had to throw this ball on timing. So I'll show. I'll throw this ball a little bit early just to show you what happens. You can see right there. He's definitely on top of him there. I'm surprised he didn't knock it out. That was an early throw. I'll also show you what happens if I throw it too late because this cornerback here will definitely catch up. You can see right there. It catches up, making a play on the ball. So timing is key. You really got to get the timing down. That's one of the main reasons I'm blocking this running back because I don't really feel like, uh, you know, the play axis is definitely going to, there, there's an early throw. You can see it's an interception. But like I said, you're watching that cornerback. You're really watching um, to see when this cornerback turns his back and that's when you make that throw. It's not really the receiver as much as just the cornerback that you're waiting on. And you can see you can make very easy plays like this. But like I said, I'm blocking this running back because I don't want that uh, animation to get in the way. As you can see right there, once again, a little bit late on the throw. The cornerback had already kind of turned around. So, I mean, it's still, you know, it's still a good play, but like I said, timing's everything. Now, cover two man, which is what I'm in now, reacts the most differently uh, based off the fact there's a safety over the top. Typically, these cornerbacks will be in the receiver's face a lot of times pressing and stuff like that. So, in that scenario, you might even have to go as far as low throwing this just to guarantee that you don't get the ball knocked out from the safety. You could also motion this guy out a little bit um, to try to get uh, a little bit more separation from that safety, but I still feel like the inside release is probably best, um, you know, but you can see it still works even on the outside. So against cover two man, you can, you can work in tight like this, but it also makes it a little bit easier for the safety to make a play. So you can motion them out and give yourself a little bit of space. Now that play is really the man side, but the other side you have a lot of really good zone concepts. So let's go and let's pick that. Uh, and then I'm just going to uh, start off with cover two zone. Now the left side, that receiver is all man coverage. It really is easy to split this play up. He's gonna beat your man, the other side's gonna beat your zone. All you have to do for zone concepts is uh, pretty much just put the, uh, you know, the, the, the RB route in the flat, the B on the streak, and you have your typical, you know, high-low concept against just about any zone. Uh, so right here, like if it's a man, or it's a, a cover two like this is, I have this uh, this tight end, you know what I mean, going, going straight to the opening. It's really that simple. Against cover three, it's going to have the exact same effect, but pretty much the same route's going to get open. You could also shorten this route if you don't want to wait for it to be, you know, it's kind of long. You can also get this guy underneath. Like I said, if you shorten that route, a lot of times that'll be the best play catch and run. That's going to be your zone side. It's really that simple. You got your man side on the left side, your zone side on the right side, and pretty much all the zone coverages are going to react the same to these three routes. Now, there is another play from this formation um, that has that same route from the PA Fork shot, but it probably has a better secondary route. The FL Drive here, we'll go and we'll go right back to that All Out Man Blitz, because people, a lot of people run All Out Man Blitz from different packages. So, Mike Blitz Zero, exact same play. I mean, the X route here will work the exact same way. It's pretty much the same route, although there, I think I threw it a little bit early. Uh, but ultimately, that's not really the reason I would call this second play anyway. I would call this for the RB route, uh, which you can see is gonna have a really good uh, you know, backup option. If I had a faster tight end, it'd be nice in that spot but ultimately um you know this play here it just really has two different plays i mean you also have the drag obviously so this particular play probably has a bigger variety of man beating routes to complement that route so you could easily go with this route as well i'm just once again blocking the running back um, just give myself a little bit of time and then you can see we're having the same success to this outside route but we have some really good check downs with the drag and with that uh, that comeback route underneath with the tight end so this play here Overall might be a better play, but like I said, I like the fact that the other side on the other play At least I have a couple of zone beating routes Which is really obviously important as well because not everybody you're not guaranteed to get a man coverage once you call this play So the next play I got one more really good play Which is very similar in concept to these previous plays where you got your main receiver on the one side and your zone coverage Beaters on the right side in the bunch and that's the PA boot slide. So we're going to pick that This is a very unique play. I'm going to start off with man cover two this particular play has two really good man coverage concepts. The X route, which is a really good uh, route, and the B route, uh, which I think is probably the better of the two because of the way that this particular guy, he just, if you throw it on timing once again, 
once he comes back inside. I mean, this is just a very unique play. This is something where, you know, he's going to he's gonna threaten outside, and he's just going to shoot right back inside. The second he does this, your bullet passing away or low throwing like I am. And it's just another, I mean, the ball's already out of my hand. You know what I mean? Like, that's just a really easy play. Because, once again, this this cornerback's heading up the field like he's covering a streak. So, at any point in time, I could throw this, and he's just going to be wide open underneath. You can see the timing is everything. Is once again, if you throw this too early, too late, it could be a problem. But you also have a really good check down the X route. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just about this particular play. I just feel like this particular play is something you can steal all game, especially against cover two. Works against cover one man the same way. As you can see, once again, you got that one-on-one. -on -one. That's all you're going to need throw in the timing. Cover one man, cover zero, cover two. All the man coverages are going to be the same uh, for that route. And it's also going to be able to, you know, it's also going to work out for the X route coming back. But it's much longer, as you can see right there. The quicker route of the two is definitely going to be the, uh, the B route. Uh, but you can get this comeback route for people that like to throw comeback routes that's out there so you always have that option as well and then obviously you have your zone beater concepts as well once again which um you know the other two routes the high low routes are going to be so we'll start off uh, well, I mean, nobody runs cover two, so we'll just run cover three. This is a, to me, this is like a drive start play. I typically hit something like this to this underneath guy, um, you know, just to, uh, just to basically get a nice little catch and run. But ultimately, it's probably best now for the man coverage plays. Now, you can kick this up a notch against cover three as well. It does have a form of what I call the DB freeze glitch, which is just putting the X route on a streak. You have to run this play from the sideline or from the hash mark. I don't know if it's the hash mark glitch or the DB freeze glitch. I call it both. But if you run it from the hash mark and you have that guy on a streak, he's essentially going to uh, just get wide open over the top of the defense, uh, which is something I've put out multiple times in multiple different formations right now, uh, which is one of the better ways to beat cover three zone, which, like I said, a lot of people um, really like to... Uh, you know to run uh cover three zone it's a really popular defense right now all you have to do once again watch this receiver you're really watching this cornerback if you see this cornerback start to slow down it means he's going to turn his attention to a different receiver to the crossing receiver it doesn't really make a lot of sense i don't really understand it considering that receivers i mean eventually that receiver would get open but based off the fact that you know that all you have to do is slow down and then when he or basically once he slows down just bullet and pass lead away from the free safety and you can see like once like i said once again i'm pretty much just loading up from uh the second i see that guy start to decelerate if i wait i mean the guy comes to a complete stop so it's a completely you know it's it's a totally busted coverage I don't know why Madden acts that way since the February patch, but you can take real advantage of it. And you can see, I mean, if I would have had a little bit more arm strength, he would have been going by about 5 to 10 yards. So I'm going to do that again. Just say all I got to do is run from the hash mark, put that guy on a streak, wait for that cornerback to slow down, bullet pass lead away. It's all timing once again. You can see it's a really easy one-play touchdown against cover three. Now, there's some really good run plays in this formation. Uh, plays like the halfback zone week. I'm gonna put some of these plays in my audibles and I'll do it like I typically do when it comes to my run, run plays. The quick pitch is another one. This formation has a very unique set of packages where you can basically go uh, three tight end, but this particular formation, I guess the, the Vikings don't have that, but I think the, the tight or the, um, the uh the seattle seahawks you can go you can flip this to packages three tight end uh but like i said i guess i don't have that here so uh but we'll pick um you know there, there's there's a couple of good run plays the quick pitch uh the the halfback zone we can halfback inside zone are the, are the best ones so we'll pick those three so it's a really easy read i mean like i said i got two tight ends blocking here this play you can almost use this play like a stretch the uh the halfback zone we can the inside zone the halfback zone weak kind of goes on a little bit more of an angle outside uh, but you can see i mean to the weak side that's obviously a very good play you can flip it to behind the tight ends there's a couple of different ways you could run this here we got that safety coming down the box so i'll go to the behind the tight ends like i said you can treat this kind of like a stretch play where you can try to take it outside it doesn't quite it's not as restrictive as the inside zone it looks very similar to the inside zone but you can see there are some uh you know this one here kind of takes you right inside into into traffic where that one there you can at least go outside a little bit more so to me this is the best play of the two here like i said i mean there's a there's a gap that guy should peel off and get me to that next level um so you know anything anything that where you see a hole or you see an opportunity this play is probably going to be the best way to go now if there's a really stacked box you could go with the quick pitch i typically want to go behind the tight ends once again although there i mean is that khalil mack just bowling that guy over not a lot you can do about that when you're running against that guy 
Uh, but that is one of your better options is the quick pitch like right here. I mean, I could go to the short side. I could flip it um, to the other side. I guess this particular play can't do that. So I guess I'll stick with the zone weak because, like I said, all the all the corners and all the you know safeties are all packed in the box over the three tight ends. So we'll go ahead. We'll just run this the opposite way. And then, like I said, I mean, we have a lot of a lot of success there. If that receiver could hold that block, I'd have a much easier run. Uh, but without a doubt, this is one of the better plays. Here we go once again. Nothing really on this side. Look at this. The way that this side opens up. It's just it's just insane. It's a really easy run play. Uh, it's one of the reasons that this particular formation is so good. So once again, nothing really over here. Just as long as there's no safety in the box or something like that, you can pretty much just steal that all game. And it's just a really uh, powerful run play to the short side. I can just keep doing this. Like right? I said, once again, got the same look. Safety's coming down the box. So he just over pursues. And we're getting 10 to 15 pretty much every time on a very easy uh, series of runs. One more time. Do it again. Like I said, nothing really over here. That's one of the things that, you know, this is going to be one of my bread and butters when it comes to me running the Vikings playbook here pretty soon. It's going to be this particular formation and this particular run play. As you can see, nothing's really out here. This is just so easy. It's like stealing. But you have that inside zone. If, um, you know, it, like that safety in the box comes down that side, you can you can go the opposite way. So if you if you have a scenario like that, you're, that's really all you're looking at. Is there somebody over here? Here there kind of is. So I could flip this play, go with the inside zone, just run this right up, uh, right up the middle here. Uh, it's not as successful. That first play is obviously better, but you can see there's definitely multiple plays. Here we go once again. Nobody outside here. We can just steal this. That guy actually kind of stoned his block, but you can see. I mean, it wasn't enough. I probably should have took a wide. To be honest with you, here's another play. Like I said, this is just an easy read. Nothing there. That guy, he just over pursues, gets outside. You're just taking it inside. It's really that easy. It's a really successful series of run plays. Uh, and then I would say, um, you know, the, the quick pitch. These. You only really want to use a quick pitch if they're really packing the box. If you're seeing like three to six, um, you know, double A gap or something like that, that'd be a good scenario where you can really use the pitch play. Um, but, you know, realistically, the pitch plays uh, can be more dangerous against anything else. Anything spread like this, they're probably going to shoot the gaps and they're probably going to, you know, they're probably going to make you pay for it. So that's really only if um, they're really stacked along the line. Like right here, you could try it maybe against this. I haven't really seen a great look for this particular run play yet, um, but you can see, I mean, this play here, it's, it's a good run play. I just need a formation where, I just need a look where they're really packed in tight into the box, uh, maybe all out blitzing or something like that before I try to run this quick pitch. I don't think I'm going to get a great look uh, in this particular, um, you know, this particular series, but it is what it is. So, like I said, something really tightly packed would make sense. Now, there's a couple of other really good pass plays. Uh, I would say the PA boots one of the better ones. This is another play good for man or zone because of the zig, but mostly it's going to be a cover two play, cover two zone. This play here, I mean the zig, like I said, if it's man covers, the zig's going to be a good play. Uh, but ultimately, I would just set up like this and try to take advantage of, um, you know, pretty much take advantage. I mean, there's a really good man play on both sides, really. But you can see against cover two zone, we can get really good over the top. Against man defense, which is what I'm in now, I mean, you know, the B route's going to be a good play. The X route's going to be a good play. Um, so, you know, there's these, all these plays, that's what they have in common, is they all have built-in uh, concepts for a lot of different things. Here we got that X route coming across the middle there. Probably want to low throw that. He's not quite beating that coverage as well as I would hope. Uh, but like I said, you do have two routes. You got the B route and you got the X route. And, you know, you, you have a couple different options. So whether it's man or zone, that's pretty much going to be the look. This uh, zone setup is going to work uh, against pretty much any zone. So, like, here I have a cover three zone. It's going to work the same way. I mean, that, that Y route is going to get open the same way as it does against the cover two. It's just going to get open underneath the cornerback rather than over the top of it. As far as your zone setup goes, it might be best just to streak the B route and motion them out or something like that because you want to pull that cornerback back as quick as possible, uh, and that will do that a little bit better. So there are ways to get that open more against cover three zones. And then last but not least, there's a good play, uh, the four verticals. This is a play that I've put out in the past before. We'll start this by focusing on cover three sky. With this play, I mean, if you motion out this B route here, um, you know, this play here, you can have a couple of different opportunities. The RB route, a lot of times, will get up and wrap up the cover three seam. That's one of the better plays. Um, but ultimately, I mean, this play, you really have a lot of different success. You don't have to even motion that guy out, and this RB route will get open. I mean, that's just a route that I've been using for years. Uh, but it's a really good, just a really good, uh, I wouldn't call it a check down necessarily, but it's a really good play. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.